Welp. It's time. Okay. I didn't grind very much. Everyone is at least level 45, with Ricky being level 46, almost 47. I did a few other changes. Uh, K-Bird now has been taught Steel Wing getting rid of Peck, because Peck was useless and Steel Wing would be better. It's really just there because I had the TM and I decided why not. Uh, next, got rid of Dig for Earthquake on Sandstorm, so Sandstorm now is the best ground move in the game. Oh, also, I boosted Tri-Attack's power points with uh, PP ups we had. Just because that's its best move, and yeah. Sandstorm's, funny enough, not going to be that helpful that I can think of off the top of my head in the first four fights. There's only one of those fights that I think Sandstorm will be even slightly really useful, so... Gwen, nothing new changed there. Nothing new here either with Energy B. Susie Star's not changed, and neither has Ricky. Everyone is about the same, with maybe a minor level difference, or stuff like that. In the bag! I went through and bought and got a few of the items out of storage. I went and bought some super potions. Um, full restores are up. We have 20 full restores now. 20 hyper potions. And 20 re and 30 revives. Just to make sure. Yeah. Hopefully we can beat this pretty easily. Now. I'm going to save up really quick right before we do the final fight. This is how we're going to look for the end of the game. Well, end of the main part of the game, because there is one last thing after this story. But first off, let's begin, I suppose, with Lorelei. Well, okay, I am not sure how she starts this fight. Mm, I'll start with when. I could be wrong about this, but I think if I start with Gwen, this should be good. Lorelei, let's start up your fight. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I'm Lorelei of the Elite Four. No one can beat me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at the mercy when they are frozen solid. Ha ha ha, are you ready? Lorelei, the ice. Basically the ice queen of this generation. She uses ice Pokemon. And yes, it was a good thing I chose to start with Gwen instead of the other one, because first off, we're starting with Dugong, level 52. Oh god. Oh no. I forgot they were all in the 50s in this game. Oh, this is going to suck. Well... I knew she was going to full restore. I'm going to brick break twice and see if that takes it down. Yeah, here's the problem. I'm going to be low leveled for this, considering I'm, all, I'm only around in the 45s. At the same time, I not only know their weaknesses pretty well, but I don't recall this one being that hard. In terms of Elite Force, this and Gen 2 were fairly easy. <laughs> the Elite Four part. The Champion! Oh no, Gen 2 sucked with the Champion. Like, maybe a bit too annoying. Um, wait, Slowbro? You're not a nice type. Well... Water Psychic! Yeah, weirdly, uh, Lorelei's team is very water-based, too. So... You would think fire would be a great, po you know, if you had just had a fire type, you're all set, but no. A lot of her Pokemon are also water-based. There's a, water, a lot of water ice types, or just plain water, like other water types, like Slowbro here. Amnesia! Here we go, here's why this thing's annoying. Special defense rays! I think... While I would like to go for... Yeah, that's one... Yeah, she's not healing it. That's nice. Shockwave. I think she's already used her only healing item. I don't know, though, how many they have. But there we go. Level 46! At least they'll level up pretty fast in this, hopefully. Cloister! I'm gonna keep within GB. 
NGB's time to shine is now, I suppose, because these are all water, these are mostly water types. There's only one ice type, I think, on our team that isn't water type, and I think that's Jinx. I think. I hopefully didn't jinx myself. Uh, anyway. NGB gets that. There we go. Jinx is next. Okay. Switching to Suzy Star, because Suzy Star being a fire type means she, and also with her high special defense, means that Jinx probably won't be able to do that much to her, but god dang, this thing can hurt. Actually, it might be nice to put Fire Blast on Suzy Star instead of Hyper Beam. Hmm. Oh no! Lovely Kiss! God dang it! <laughs> Freaking Lovely Kiss. Um. Okay. I'm never using that ice heal. Oh, did I buy very many full? No. Do I have any berries that bring out? Yes, I have four of them. There we go. Susie Star woke up. And ice punch, which is a special attack in this game, and it hurts 35 damage. Okay then. Now let's hope that my next flamethrower can take this ice type out. I think this is one of our high level. Okay, Jinx is down. Jinx was definitely a powerhouse. So Lapras is next. Let's switch out, because that's a water type. Let's switch back either to NGB or Gwen. I'm going to choose... I'll choose Gwen. I don't remember, though, if Lap... I think Lapras is more special defensive than defense. I don't remember, though. Either way, Crush Chop. Also level 54. Wow. Lapras... Water Ice. Half, like, half her team's Water Ice. With Cloyster, Lapras, and... Oh. You have a berry. Citrus Berry restored health. Dang it! <laughs> well... There goes Gwen. You did good. Except not really. Just finish this up. Kaboom. The power of lightning. There we go. And I think that might be Lorelei out. Yeah, Lorelei's down. You're better than I thought. Go on ahead. You only got a taste of what to come. Alright. Weird music choice. But yes. Alright, let's do a revive on Gwen to bring it Gwen back. Now, the next one. Okay. So, the next one... You know what, let's just use... No, I don't want to use my soda pops. Let's grab a super push. Or fresh water. Get Susie Star and NGB both fully healed up. Although NGB's not going to be useful, because this... Next fight is going to be mostly rock type and slash fighting. Okay. Because next is... It's either Gwen or K-Bird. But the problem is... I don't remember which. Because I know he has an onyx. He has at least one onyx. I don't remember if it's first or not, though. I'm going to start with Gwen again. If it's not the right choice. If it ends up being onyx not being first, I can switch anyway. So it won't matter to me. I can... <laughs> Let's see. Onyx is first! Alrighty. Well, Ricky was probably would have been the best choice, but you know what? Gwen can do this. Crush Chop. Oh, I'm almost out of Crush Chops. Probably should have power pointed that up that one. Oh well, who cares? It's not a big loss. Brick break. And also, I got a bunch of ethers and elixirs that I'll probably never use anyway, so who cares? Anyway. So Onyx fainted, we got more experience. Onyx number two is coming up next. You know what? Let's let Gwen just finish up the Onyxes, because the Onyxes are going to be 
Okay, earthquake. I didn't expect earthquake. I also didn't expect to do that little damage. Okay, we're gonna switch to Ricky now. Ricky. Oh, probably won't take that much damage from it. Earthquake again. Okay, I'm at 132. Okay, that's not that bad. Let's finish. Let's get rid of you with Surf. Okay, another one. That's fine. Ricky's not even that important for this fight anyway. Just the Onyxes are the only thing I really need it for, probably at all. Now for the next one. 47. Okay, you're at 47, which is pretty nice. Next is Hitmonchan. Now it's time for K-Bird, my glass cannon flying type. Go out, go forth, and rain flying attacks from above. We fly! And Hitmonchan is not down. Ow. Okay. Okay then, that's not good. Uh, I didn't think it would be that fast yet. Okay. Well, NGB, you're gonna finish up Ibon Chan. Probably could have just used Shockwave, but oh well. Well, Ibon Chan's out, but Ibon Chan Lee's next, I think. Because I think his entire team is going to be the two Onyxes, Hitmonchan, Hitmon Lee, and Machamp. And that Machamp is going to be scary. Especially since I lost my flying type. Alright, Hitmon Lee is next. Uh, I will change to... You know what? Gwen, you're not going to be that useful. Sandstorm could Earthquake spam. And Sandstorm's not going to be that useful for most of the rest of the game, so... I think the only time might be in the final battle, in the champion fight. But, um... Earthquake! Goodbye! Oh, mega kick! Dang! Critical hit! That hurt! <laughs> Yikes. Um... I want... K-Bird back. So I'm gonna do a bit of a play here of... Send out something to sacrifice. Because I really want K-Bird back. Because K-Bird is really, really good. And that Mega Kick freaking su facade. Huh. Alright, K-Bird. Let's see if you can take it down this time. Alright. K-Bird. <sighs> the problem with Dodrio is basically if you can't one-shot it, you might get one-shot yourself because you're not very defensive. But, well, that doesn't matter. Hitmon Lee's out. There we go. Good job, Gabbard. But next is Machamp. Uh, that freaking Rock Tomb freaking sucks. Fly attack. Let's do this again. Machamp, let's see if I can get rid of you. Oh, you have Rock Tomb as well. Oh, god damn it. Let's see if I can one-shot. Please one-shot. No, that's not good. That's not good. Goodbye, K-Bird. Yeah, I didn't expect that to really work for well. I swear Dodrio is good! Although, I think Dodrio's kind of proven itself over the over the course of the game so far. So, you know what? Yeah. Let's just have Seriously Star finish it up. Just a generic flame. Thor should finish this up fairly well. Actually, you know what? Right after this, I'll teach it fire. I'll teach it fire blast. Okay, I would like Fire Blast also for high damage, because, um, that should have killed. Um, well then. Are you serious? A citrus Berry restored health, but you got burned. So that's not gonna work. Cross Chomp! Oh no! Shoot. Dang! Bruno's... Pounding me into the dust! But NGB always comes through. Are you serious? 
<laughs> and that's gonna get rid of the burn too. Oh no! I didn't realize he didn't eel yet. Oh god! And also, we've been here for 15 minutes. Thunderbolt! Boom. Now, can I take you down? Yeah! Critical! You might have gotten a critical at one point, but so did I. Well, for now, I think it's time to take a break. Next time, we'll continue. See you guys next time.